Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a fantastic little toy I bought, um, which is going to help me hopefully find a, a vacuum leak in this engine before I start investigating anything. You can see it connected up there, it's a little red box which is hanging off the, the bonnet of the car. It's a, a Ansel smoke detector. Now these come in a variety of different models and I've got S100 which is the base model. Um, had I known uh, better and paid more attention then I would have bought a better model because uh, this one as you can see is connected to this pipe here which is the compressor. Now having a compressor at home is, is, is useful but uh, let's face it if you're out and about and your car is broken down in the street somewhere else you're not going to have a compressor so it's worthwhile uh, thinking about purchasing one of these machines with a built-in uh, fans which will allow the, the smoke to output. Um, so it's a fairly small machine in this in this form um, and as you can see it's connected to the 12 volts battery supply here and does require 12 volts so that will come straight off your vehicle so you do need a, you do need a power source uh, so if your vehicle's not got any power in the battery it's not going to work um, and it uh, uses a uh, cheap oil and I'm just using baby oil and that all I have to do is get a the smoke uh, going in past that a MAF sensor there so you don't want to do the smoke before the MAF sensor because smoke's just going to make your, uh, your, your sensor a little bit dirty. So we're going to go past it and we're going to be looking for any uh, air leaks which are, are getting in, which are what we call unmetered, and that will throw up uh, a whole series of uh, problems. So here we go. So we're going to use this Ansel uh, along with a, uh, this compressor, which is producing uh, quite a bit of uh, compressor. I think it's at 6 bar, but it has this bit here, which attenuates it to 0.5 bars. Now you can control the speed of the of the smoke using this, which is just a valve, which controls the pressure going up up to 0.5. So you basically turn that up, and you can see how fast and how much pressure you're applying on that smoke. Okay, so this fitment here uh, didn't come with it. I went and got my own, uh, which fits onto my particular adapter. However, it did come with a series of the uh, other the other style of adapter. As I said, this little knob here uh, adjusts the the speed of the of thing. So now what we're going to look for is we're going to look at a pipe that we can replace. And this one's quite a, an easy one. It goes into the harmonica box, harmonic box, I think they call it, over there. And uh, we just disconnect that. And I plugged it in, the, the one uh, coming here. And this is the, the black wire. This is where the smoke comes out of this tube. And it feeds all the way down here, all the way down here, under pressure to this section here. And it pumps into that harmonic box. Okay, so that means that that oxygen is now going to be supplied to the engine and it will be pumped through the engine. If there's any leaks, it will show up. Okay, so let's give it a try and uh, see how it goes. Uh, as you can see, the, there's no leaks, uh, no, uh, no smoke coming out of this area. And there's the smoke coming out there. Do you know what? I'm going to show you that. I'm going to uh, restart it again. It's the oil stride out. It's got a tiny little reservoir. So I'm going to restart that and uh, refilled with the oil has been running for quite a while um, and there you can see that's it plugged in to the box now okay and i'm looking around for smoke and i'm using a light here uh, a torch as well because the torch just helps to highlight any smoke it just makes it much more obvious uh, and also allows you to look into all the nooks and crannies um, there should be no smoke coming out uh, anything but look at that when you pull it out you can see the amount of smoke under pressure that this thing is pushing out um, and as I said, you can adjust that. Yeah, I'll keep it under pressure because I want to try and get that smoke running through. Um, and that allows me also, uh, I know that there's a lot of smoke coming through there. And I'm holding it on tightly with my hand just now, but you can get closer fitting uh, pipe work onto that. But, you know, for speed of access, uh, I'm focused and I'm ready to go and I'm just pushing that on. There's no smoke coming out of that area so I can get a good view all the way around. Okay, you can use a little clamp or you can use a, a smaller hose on that. There is attachments it comes with. Uh, so, for example, you can do petrol tank uh, leaks as well uh, by feeding it into an empty petrol tank. Uh, I imagine you can do LPG leaks as well by feeding it into the LPG tanks. Um, but effectively, no, no smoke coming out of this area whatsoever. So there you go, An Ansel S100. You can get this on eBay. Um, and it's actually quite a little useful tool. It's not, the, it's not expensive. It's a good little home tool gets the job done and uh, maybe somebody that somebody you know might want one of these um, but it certainly helps uh, for diagnostics I didn't want to go looking at my uh, my oxygen lambda sensor until it actually tested this 
Okay, hopefully it's been useful to you. And um, as I said, Ansel S100, try and get a slightly better one with the, with the built-in compressor and you'll enjoy it so much more. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Um, and uh, I'll be packing up now. I'm happy with this. And uh, the final one, look at the smoke coming out. Take care. Bye.